never told me what you did this morning, and I'm not pleased about it. You're referring to the fact I didn't finish my eggs, or that I forgot to say goodbye when I left. You brought a mirror to our home to extort money from Bart and to wreak havoc on our relationship. I don't know what my father's told you, but let me assure you, Amira's presence has nothing to do with you. Well, since they slept together, it has everything to do with me. I'm sorry, Lily. I had no idea. I have to go. Wait. When were you planning to tell me you had an affair with my father? Poor Chuck. Everyone knows the first place to check for secrets is under the bed. Or in it. Bart and I were only together for one weekend. I didn't mention it because you were investigating his business, not his personal life. I was looking for his secrets. You count. Then perhaps he simply paid to hide our affair from your stepmother. My father would never spend that kind of money on a relationship. There must be something else connected to that weekend. I can't imagine what. And I can't risk staying to find out. Can you leave without your money? Chuck, don't do this. That money belongs to me and my family. And it's in my safe. And I won't open it until you tell me everything that happened that weekend. It's nothing. Use your memory. Use your emails. Use your credit card bills. I want to know every person you saw, every place you went. The sooner you write it all down, the sooner you can leave. I don't have to go and help a friend, but I will be back. Where? Are you okay? Well, not yet. I still have two dresses I need to round up. I didn't know that you were coming to Serena's party. I wasn't intending to, but then I heard from you. From me? Well, you must have telepathically sensed my distress from my dresses. No, this was a text. Wait, if you didn't send it, I think I know who did. I have to go. Hurry. The sooner you go, the sooner you can come back. In the grander sense. Love will be amazing. Champion sound.